You are going to be terminated. This is Schnitzelinator. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So, yeah, big screen VR, big cinema VR. So, let's talk about this. For those of you who are not familiar with big screen VR, big screen VR, uh, it's a app, a service that allows you to socialize with other people who have a VR headset and you get to talk to each other you get to uh play the video games together on the big screen so pretty much everything from movies tv shows video games karaoke or what have you you get to be able to go to these different rooms and socialize with each other and uh, that's one positive aspect of the big screen vr is the fact that social aspect where you get to socialize with other people or your friends or you meet some new people and you add them as your friends and you get to socialize with them, get to talk about the video games, movies, etc., etc. It's a pretty cool aspect to, to be able to sit in a movie theater and, and like turn around and talk to each other as the avatar. It's like an avatar, James Cameron world. You are inside the avatar. It's not you, but it's the avatar presenting you in this other world out there. And you get to talk to each other, turn around and talk about a movie. Or uh, I remember one time we were watching Avatar uh, 3D in my private room. And we were actually discussing with my friends, five of us that were there, including Anthony. We were discussing uh, James Cameron. We were discussing Avatar movie. Our first experience watching the Avatar movie. Where have you seen it first? Stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool social aspect. Of it, and that's the one thing that I appreciate and like about big screen VR is the social aspect. All right, on this video, I'm going to try to cover both positives and negatives. Like I said, one major positive is a social aspect of it. Okay, so now let's talk about cinema big screen. Cinema big screen, it's something that just recently got updated uh, where big screen VR has joined the partnership with. Paramount Studios. Paramount Picture Studios is a pretty big studio. A studio that brought us The Godfather, Saving Private Ryan, Indiana Jones, uh, Jack Ryan series. I mean, the list goes on and on. Forrest Gump, Top Gun, uh, you name it. Uh, Mission Impossible. So, you know, uh, Star Trek, Paramount Pictures Studios. Uh, it's a big studio, big major Hollywood studio. Okay, so uh, that's pretty cool that they have joined but let's dive into it let's dive right into it let's see what's available and let's see what we have okay so first and foremost these are the current movies that are available you know these are the movies that you can rent you cannot buy these movies you can only rent them and these are the ones that are available currently you have transformers dark of the moon which is in 3d right here clearly you can see it this is in 3D, so uh, 3D movies are five dollars, and they're only available certain certain dates, and then they go away. Uh, so you have to hurry up. You have to buy your tickets. You have to uh, rent the movie. And uh, here's the one of the issues that I have with this whole thing is the fact that you're paying a five dollars for something that you can actually stream privately in your room because majority of people have these movies in 3d i have this movie in 3d i played it privately in the room with my friends who are invited my friends in the private room it was not a public room it was a private room uh so the question is why would someone want to pay five dollars for uh renting this movie for like a 48 hours when you can actually go ahead and just watch your movies that you already own privately on your uh, on your computer so th this is one of the, the issues that I have with this one of the, the the things that to me personally I wouldn't say it's uh, I wouldn't say it's going to appeal to to a lot of people honestly and, and I already heard a lot of people complain that this is not appealing that this is really like a money quick cash grab type of a scenario that they're making here and of course uh, this is something that big screen VR will have to work with 
studios and negotiate with studios to uh, figure out the way if we can, you know, get some sort of a subscription thing going on where we can have studios giving us uh, movies uh, to watch with a subscription. You know what I mean? Like a $10 a month or something like that where you can have a subscription-based uh, service where you get all these movies and you get to play them anytime you want. And then if there's a new movie playing in the movie theaters, then you can pay a ticket or have a discount if you're part of the membership or something. I think there's a there's a many different ways they can they can work around with this. Uh, there's other ways they can figure out because uh, right now this is just honestly I don't think it's a good deal. Uh, you're paying for something that's an old movie for something that you already own. Uh, you add another ten dollars, you can buy this movie in 3D Blu-ray. So I don't really think this is uh, this is worth it. Uh, in my opinion, okay, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me on this um, as well. You also got the Ghost in the Shell. I think one movie that I would say definitely looks great in 3D would be Ghost in Shell, and um, I have this movie. I have it in 3D. I, I played it. I watched it. It looks great. I like the movie. Um, was it exactly accurate to to the Japanese animated uh, uh, version? Of course, not you know, uh, nothing's ever gonna be. No movie ever is gonna be able to replace uh, the anime, you know, the Japanese anime. You know, no movie will ever be able to replace that. But it was still a good, you know, good decent movie. It wasn't a bad movie by any means. Okay, I mean, it just it didn't get enough publicity. It didn't get enough uh, attention. Theatrical release didn't get that much attention. But I liked it. But would you pay five dollars for it? That's the question. Would you pay five dollars for this movie just so you can have it for a couple of days and then it's gone? I don't think so because I can already play this uh, on from my computer uh, privately and have my friends join me. So I don't think this really is worth it. And I think this is the issue right now. And the main reason I'm making this video because I I hope that maybe developers will see this video and I'm pretty sure the developers or the CEO of the big screen VR will see this video and if he does see this video if you do see this video uh, I think you need to negotiate with the studio you need to see if they can give you some type of uh, uh, subscription based service and then people who join that subscription based service maybe they can have some discounts on the upcoming uh, theatrical releases like Top Gun Maverick is coming out next year and they can uh, you know pre-order the tickets and get it with a discount or, or give it one free or something to someone else by joining a Paramount you know uh, subscription based service or something where they can play all these movies on the big screen VR I think people will gladly pay ten dollars a month for that type of uh, uh, subscription based service uh, this it's just not worth it guys I mean you're gonna spend five dollars here when you can go ahead and you can uh, for an extra two dollars you can have Disney Plus you know I mean there's other <laughs> you can go and sign up with the Amazon or, or Netflix and you can stream this from a Netflix you know th there's other ways for you to uh, to enjoy this so I wouldn't say that it's really uh, is really I don't know for whom this is feasible honestly I'm, I'm just trying I'm thinking right now I'm trying to figure out for whom is this uh, feasible unless you're somebody who has oculus quest and you don't have a computer nearby and uh, you just need something to watch uh, maybe it's for that person but even then why would you do that when you can just simply hop into your Netflix Netflix app and and watch it on your <laughs> watch it on your VR headset. So I don't know. I mean, I really don't think this is good. Uh, and, and the main reason I'm making this video because I want to talk about both positives and negatives, and, and that's what I try to do in my videos. I want to cover both positives and negatives. Like I said, one positive about this is the social aspect of it, but right now currently the studios here are just in it to uh, to to have a 
quick cash grab money thing. Um, and if I was the big screen VR, I would try to negotiate with them. Uh, they should have gone with a subscription-based service, not this. I mean, if they want to charge people for new theatrical movies playing in the theater, that's fine. You can buy a ticket for that. But for these old movies, for you to be renting these old movies, uh, it's really it's kind of ridiculous. Because all these movies you can watch right now on Netflix, on Amazon, and you can uh, rip them from your uh, 3D Blu-ray and, and have a private uh, room with your private uh, friends in there and watch the movies 3D whenever you want, how many times you want, okay? Think about it. If you're gonna pay, if you're gonna pay ten dollars to rent these two movies, you can actually buy one of those movies on the Amazon in 3D Blu-ray, and then you can rip them in 3D format. So I just don't, uh, I don't know honestly what big screen VR was thinking about. Um, uh, if you guys are watching this, uh, you need to like contact the Paramount. You need to uh, negotiate with the Paramount and tell them that this is really not a way to go. This is this is not gonna work. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna fail. It's not gonna work. Uh, you need to uh, negotiate with Paramount and let the Paramount give you some sort of a subscription-based service. And then, if you become a member of Paramount subscription-based service, maybe you can have some discounts in the future, movie tickets, stuff like that. You know, but right now, this here is just. Uh, I'm sure the quality is nice, don't get me wrong, and I might try just to see how the quality is, but is it worth it? No. No. Uh, you know. Now, they got some upcoming movies here as well, uh, they can see right over here. Um, they got uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, which is available December 20th. You got Terminator Genesis, which is part of 3D. All the 3D movies are $5. Uh, 2D movies, like Interstellar, it's a... Uh, just the four dollars but why would you pay four dollars to lease a movie when you can watch it from Amazon Prime when you can watch it from uh, Amazon Prime Netflix other services or you can just watch it from your hard drive or you can just watch it you know from your blu-ray directly on your PC um, you know what I mean <laughs> It's just uh, I, I don't I don't get this I, I really uh, I I don't get what what big screen VR was thinking about when when they when they when they th when they start thinking about doing this uh, deal I don't think this is a great deal uh, it almost feels to me as if big screen VR was so desperate to make some kind of a deal with. Um, with the Paramount that they really didn't care like uh, I honestly this is not a good deal uh, I'm telling you right now so big screen cinema I don't think it's a great deal I think uh, you're wasting a lot of money uh, five dollars here five dollars there it's ten dollars for something to rent for two days you gotta pay four here four there that's that's twenty dollars for something to rent I mean for twenty dollars you can buy a brand new movie and own it so it's not worth it. For twenty dollars, you can have a uh, you know subscription-based services like uh, Disney Plus and and Netflix, which is far better than this, obviously. So I don't see any value here. Uh, I don't know what were they thinking when they uh, decided to go with this deal. I think this is a bad deal, and I can play all of these movies from directly from. You know, I mean. From my computer, I have these. I have those 3D. I have tons of 3D movies. So why would I bother with this? I got Endgame in 3D for crying out loud. I got all the Marvel movies in 3D. Godzilla, you name it. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Is this going to change? Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see if you know they get some other studios like Warner Brothers and uh, maybe Universal and some other studios and like of course this one. 20th Century Fox, if they can work the way around this, if they can figure out the way to get get some sort of a subscription service for $10 a month, I think that will work much, much better. And then with a $10 a month, when you become a membership, 
uh, member of that subscription. You also get a discount for pre-ordering certain movies like Top Gun, Maverick, or you know stuff like that where you don't have to go to the movie theater. You watch it here. Uh, that could work. But I'm surprised that they haven't done that yet. Look, this is just the first step, okay? This is just the first step of what's going to be possible. But I hope that you guys share this video. And I hope that the uh, developers and the CEO of this company see this. Um, and um, hopefully, maybe he'll take some notes, negotiate. I know it's difficult to negotiate with studios. I'm not saying it's easy. You know, especially if you're a small company, I know it's it's, it's never an easy thing to, to negotiate with the big studios, especially with the Paramount Studios or any of these big Hollywood giant studios. It's not an easy thing to negotiate. But I think they'll have to uh, negotiate because I don't think this is going to work, honestly. Sure, some people will click on it to try it out, uh, but I, I don't think it's going to be that successful, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's the one negative right now. I don't think it's good. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 too expensive. It's not like you buying these movies for five dollars. You know, you're renting them, and they're only available for like a couple of days. Uh, so, I don't know about that. And they, like I said, they have upcoming movies coming up. Uh, they got Terminator, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, Star Trek Beyond for Christmas or after Christmas. Then they got Top Gun uh, in 3D. Uh, which I have. I have Top Gun 3D. I mean, look, it has a nice depth of picture, but you're not going to see F-14 Tomcat, you know, uh, popping out of the screen. You know, it's not going to be like that experience, you know. Now, Top Gun Maverick IMAX 3D, when it comes out next uh, next year in June, of course, it's going to look freaking amazing. Um, and then you got January 3rd, you got uh, World War Z in 3D. Transformers Age of Extinction. This right here is definitely what I would recommend. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have uh, Transformers Age of Extinction on the IMAX 3D. And let me tell you, the IMAX 3D version of Transformers Age of Extinction just looks phenomenal in 3D. Let me tell you, one of the, it's next to the Avatar. I'd say this is the best, the second best 3D movie next to the Avatar. Uh, I think Michael Bay did a fantastic job with the IMAX 3D here. In my opinion, um, so I know people are gonna have a difference of opinion. Um, I know this is just the beginning, but I have to cover both positives and negatives, guys, and I have to let you know how I feel. Like I said, if you have an option to watch this as many times as you want from your computer, and if you have other alternatives, so then why would you spend money here? Uh, okay. Blu-ray is a Blu-ray quality. I don't think they're going to give you anything better than uh, 3D Blu-ray quality here. It's the same quality that you have on your 3D Blu-ray. You can buy these 3D Blu-ray movies, rip them to your hard drive, and then have a private session with your friends in, in a closed uh, theater room. All right, so I really don't think it's worth it. I might check out to see how the quality is, but I personally don't think this is a uh, great value here. Uh, you're spending a lot of money, man. You know, $5 here. Five dollars there, four here, four here, twenty bucks here. Another four movies rent. That's forty dollars. Uh, no, uh, I don't think it's, it's. This is a great. No, it's not, it's, it's a bad deal. It's a bad deal, in my opinion. So, if if you're a developer, if you're a CEO of this company, if you're watching this, I think you need to negotiate with the Paramount Studios. I know it's difficult to negotiate with the studios, big giant studios, but I think you're gonna have to negotiate with them because I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, I'm just being honest, and I, I think a lot of people will agree with me, and they're gonna say, "Hey, you know, the money I'm spending here, why would I do that when I can just get it here?" Uh, you gotta remember, guys. There's options. You know, unless you're somebody who has no clue how to watch movies. Uh, maybe you're appealing to that person, but the studios and you guys who know better need to understand that this is not a good deal. All right, if these movies were brand new, okay, if this was something that is playing in a movie theater, okay, let's say uh, Ghost in the Shell it's playing in a the movie theater right now, and I don't have to go to the movie theater to pay uh, you know eight dollars or seventeen dollars to watch it. I can just pay five dollars to watch it here. Fine, take my five dollars. Take my money, dude. I get to watch it for two days, as many times as I want. Take my money. 
Take my money. I, I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that experience. But this is an old movie that I can watch on Amazon Prime or Netflix or whatever. Uh, or I can just buy it on a 3D Blu-ray for like 12 bucks. All right. Uh, so, you know, you see, you catch my drift. You see what I'm saying? It's just a bad deal. It's not really a good deal. All right. So I'm just I'm saying this for the big screen VR developer. Uh, if you're watching this, you need to you need to talk to studios. Maybe the studio can watch this video that I'm doing, and they'll come to the same conclusion that they need to s figure out the way to put some sort of subscription service, okay, where you can watch these movies if you subscribe to Paramount Studio subscription. But right now, this is a total. It's a total ripoff. Uh, let me be honest. You know, I'm being honest with you guys. I know you're a small company. I get it, dude. I know you guys are a small company, but this is not a good deal. I'm just letting you know, as a consumer, this is not a good deal. All right. Um. So, look, I want to end this video by saying a couple of things. Uh, one of the you know, watching movies on the on the big screen cinema, it's optional. It's not something that, that that's the only way you can watch movies. So you don't necessarily have to go and spend five dollars to watch a movie. Uh, you basically don't have to pay a cent. You can watch TV shows. You can watch some free TV channels. You can uh, play video games. You can play uh, Google Stadia from your Chrome browser on a big screen. So there's some positives here that uh, that I like you know the, the the one biggest positive is the social aspect of it you know the social aspect of big screen VR is that the biggest positive is that you can go and watch somebody stream from YouTube or Twitch or Mixer on the big screen you can commentate and chat at the same time and talk to each other while you're in a theater room or whatever room uh, you can also watch a movie privately uh, whatever you choose to watch on that private room, it's your private room, okay, whatever you want to watch, you can watch, that's your choice, uh, you have that ability, but the social aspect of it, it's what, what appeals to me, what appeals to me the most, I think, the social aspect of this, it's really what appeals to me, you can have, uh, you can watch a concert with somebody on a big screen, you can uh, do a karaoke together on a big screen. There's so much here that, that's appealing. And that's the one biggest positive I want people to, to, to get from big screen VR is the social aspect of it. And the social aspect is what I believe big screen VR is mostly recognized for. And that's why I recommend this for the social aspect of it. Now... Paying for the movies, uh, honestly, if money is not an issue and, and you want to spend five dollars to to rent a movie, um, I guess do it. It's your money. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money, but I'm simply saying, why would you do that when you have other options? You got Disney Plus. You can watch all your movies from Disney Plus. You can watch. Uh, movies on your hard drive. You can watch movies from your 3D Blu-rays that you ripped. You can watch them privately in your private room, private session with the others, or who are your friends, invited. Uh, so then why would you pay $5 to Paramount when you can easily uh, <laughs> do it this way? So I really don't understand what happened here. And, and, and uh, like I said, I don't mean to be a negative nanny, but when I review something, I have to cover both positives and negatives and I'm covering both positives and negatives I already mentioned the uh, social aspect of it that's positive now the one biggest negative is I don't think big screen cinema it's worth it paying five dollars for for a 3d movie that you can only watch for a couple of days I don't think it's worth for that uh, I think that's uh, quite honestly studios just trying to uh, grab the cash and, and make an easy money so uh, big screen VR, this is a bad deal. I don't think people will watch movies like this. Uh, well, you, no, here's a, here's a, my question to to the developer: Why would I pay five dollars when I can 
easily watch it from my hard drive. Why would anybody out there pay $5 for something that's an old movie when they can watch it from their hard drive? Uh, you know that better than anybody. It's not going to work. People are not going to pay $5 for something that's an old movie. If it's part of a subscription-based service, then they'll probably go for that. Okay. People will pay only $5 if they can watch Rise of the Skywalker right now in big screen for $5. They'll gladly pay $5 or even $7 if they can watch it on a big screen VR. But you don't have that currently available, so you cannot watch it on a big screen VR. So this is a good step, but you guys have a lot more work to, to do here. You guys got a long way to go. You know, this is something that you guys will have to work on. This is something that you will have to negotiate with the studios. I know it's not going to be easy negotiating with the studios, these big, giant, greedy Hollywood studios. But uh, you'll have to negotiate with them if you want this to take in a big way. You know, but right now, this is not a good deal. Okay, I, I just want to say that. You know, I don't think it's a great deal. Uh, but I want to hear what you guys think. I gave you my positives. I gave you my negatives. I covered both. Uh, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on it? Is it worth it? Not worth it? Would you pay $5? Would you not pay $5? Uh, so let me know what you think down in the comment section. Also, there might be a live stream today. I'm getting back into a truck simulator but this time around, I'm going to do something different with the truck simulator. It's not just going to be your 16 by 9 uh, stream. We're going to do something different with the cameras. We're going to figure out the way to implement my couple of monitors and put them on a, on a screen. So you can, see my, you can see me driving on the big screen on my ultra widescreen two monitors that I have connected. <laughs> So uh, the American Truck Simulator uh, will be coming on later on, possibly later on in the evening, okay, because I got some stuff I have to take care of. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you agree with this? Do you disagree? Uh, what do you think? What, do you, what are your thoughts on it? I would like to hear uh, your opinions and, and thoughts and what you guys think. All right, just remember this is pre-recorded. I know it's part of a premiere, but it's pre-recorded meaning that uh, this is not live okay it is premiering live but it's a pre-recorded video okay all right guys well i'll catch you later thank you all for support appreciate it and thank you for the donations and all that other good jazz all right so there you have it i'll catch you guys later cheers